There are currently 48 countries designated by the United Nations as Least Developed Countries, or LDCs. 34 in Africa, 9 in Asia, 4 in the Pacific, and 1 in the Caribbean. These countries have particularly low levels of economic and human development, high poverty, and limited diversification of production and exports. LDCs are particularly vulnerable to economic and environmental shocks, and they have difficulties reaping the development benefits from engaging in international markets. They are thus faced with challenges typical of underdevelopment, which leave them ever further behind the rest of the developing world. To help them overcome these challenges, the international community has put in place international support measures to provide LDCs with better treatment than is available to other developing countries in finance, trade, technology and technical assistance. Once a country reaches a certain level of development in terms of rising income, human assets and falling vulnerability, it exits the LDC category. This process is called graduation. The LDC-specific support measures are then phased out gradually to avoid any disruption to the development process. In 2011, the Istanbul Programme of Action for the LDCs set a target that at least half of the then 49 LDCs should satisfy the criteria for graduation by 2020. To mark the halfway point between the adoption of the target and the target date, UNCTAD's annual Least Developed Countries Report 2016 addresses the topic of graduation. The report subtitled, The Path to Graduation and Beyond, Making the Most of the Process, reviews the nature and significance of graduation and the graduation prospects for LDCs. Since the LDC category was established 45 years ago, only four countries have graduated, Botswana, Cape Verde, Maldives and Samoa. Three more, Equatorial Guinea, Vanuatu and Angola, are set to graduate by 2021. The report projects that a further 13 countries are likely to meet the graduation criteria by 2021. But this is far short of the 21 needed to meet the Istanbul target. By 2025, according to these projections, there will be 32 LDCs, and only two of them, Haiti and Cambodia, will be outside Africa. The countries projected to remain in the group have lower incomes, higher poverty and greater aid dependence than the likely graduates. Without effective national and international action, graduations over the coming years will thus widen the development gap between the remaining LDCs and other developing countries still further. Although national governments might see some political advantage in graduating as quickly as possible, graduation should not be seen as in an end in itself. It is not the end of a sprint, but the first milestone in the marathon of development. The how of graduation is more important than when. The Least Developed Countries Report therefore recommends that LDC governments and their development partners should aim at what it calls graduation with momentum. By developing the country's productive capacities, a government can set in motion a structural transformation of its economy, shifting labour and capital from less productive to more productive sectors and activities. This helps to create jobs, to increase labour productivity and value addition, and thus to raise living standards. A virtuous pattern of development of this kind also helps to diversify the country's production and exports, limiting its commodity dependence, and to increase its resilience to external risks and shocks. Together with sound preparation for the loss of access to the LDC-specific ISMs after graduation, it also provides solid foundations to deal with the development challenges that lie ahead such as the risk of a middle-income trap. The Least Developed Countries Report 2016 outlines national policies for graduation with momentum and proposes improvements to international support measures to achieve the Istanbul graduation target, 
and to allow graduating countries to continue their development progress far beyond graduation.